Hello, this is Mr. Wathi. In the last video, we looked at how to use Tinkercad circuits to make a very basic circuit using a battery uh, and an LED just in order to power up this LED. In this video, we want to use a couple more components to make things a little bit more interesting. We're going to use a potentiometer and a photoresistor in order to control how bright the LED will shine. And then I'll go over a very basic how you can add um, or how you can explore the different pre-made circuits on Tinkercad circuits. Awesome. So at the very get-go, we want to use something called a potentiometer. Potentiometer? What the heck's a potentiometer? Well, if I go to, if I just type in resistor, you can see that we have resist, a resistor right here, but we also have these two things here, a potentiometer and a photoresistor. Wabam, wabam. And these two components here, if I look at my component chart, potentiometer, this is just a variable resistor. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means I have this knob here, uh, and I could turn this knob, and as I turn it, it will change how much resistance is going through the circuit. We notice that there's three pins, right? Let's go back here. There's three pins on this potentiometer. We have terminal one, we have the wiper, and terminal two. So if I click on this potentiometer, um, I'm gonna type in just resistance 10K ohms, that's 10,000 ohms. So that means from terminal one all the way to terminal two, we have 10,000 ohms. Uh, but from terminal one to the wiper, or from the wiper to terminal two, uh, the resistance varies, depends on how much I turn this knob. So it'll change as I turn this knob. And you might recognize a knob like this from things like I don't know, a, a, like a stereo volume button or a volume uh, knob on your car stereo or whatever. And that's, the, you know, those that's a potentiometer right in there. Okay, so let's try to connect this. So we know, we saw before that, you know, as I simulated the circuit, as I change the resistance right here, the LED intensity changed. Uh, but it's not realistic to, you know, swap in and out these different... Uh, different resistors in real life, you know, it might work now in the simulation. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to delete, uh, actually what we're going to do, we're going to grab another LED. Let's do that. LED. We're going to grab one right here and let's color this LED. Yeah, let's make it blue. And I'm going to take this potentiometer and plop it right there. So this potentiometer is going to take the place of the resistor. So on the cathode side of the, the LED, we're just going to go right down to ground as we did before. We're going to go from positive terminal all the way across the breadboard to right up here. And we'll call that red so we know that there's power going on there. And right now, what we're going to do, we're going to use the, the wiper, okay? So like I said before, between the terminal, terminal 1 and the wiper, or terminal, sorry, terminal 2 and the wiper, or terminal 1 and the wiper, that's where we get a change in resistance. So I'll just click that right there, bring it over to the anode side of that LED, and let's start the simulation. Start. And you notice how as I turn this, oh, we get very, very right and then it crashes so you know this kind of gets our idea across that we can change the brightness um, but there's also an issue here that we can go all the way up here which probably means that there's no resistance and that it will it will um, ruin our LED so what's one way we could solve this well one thing we could do we could add a basic LED sorry a basic resistor in our circuit. So instead of having this guy right here, let's delete that. We're just going to have a resistor. Re resistor. And I'll have that going from the wiper. We'll move our components over here. Move the wire over. And so now we have a minimum resistance of, let's say, Ah, 400 ohms. So now I can start my simulation. 
And if I go all the way to the max, we're okay, we're safe, we're not gonna explode because we have this resistor here. And we go all the way down in size if we turn it off. And if I were to change this potentiometer to be a bigger one, like by default, it, it was a, I think it was 250 K ohms. Let's just go 100 K ohms. Um, we notice that there's kind of a bigger range here that it just kind of turns on right around this area, that, uh, that, that at the end of it. Um, so a 10 K ohm kind of works better for what we want here. Yeah, cool. So that's a little bit more exciting. It kind of gives us more control in the circuit rather than this LED on the right. It's kind of a dumb circuit. Not much you can do with it. Cool. And I, you know, here I Googled potentiometers and, you know, this is kind of how they look like. They look like these knobs, pretty much there's different uh, kinds of potentiometers. That looks like a slidey one. You know, this is a basic knob. Uh, most of them have three different connections. Like I said before, there's that kind of signal or the wiper in the middle and then the two other terminals. Cool. So now we want to look at a photocell or a photoresistor. Photo meaning light, resistor meaning resistor. And the way this guy works is that it changes, the resistance changes based on how much light it is sensing. So I'm going to go in here and grab myself another LED. And we'll make our circuit all the way down here. And let's color the sky green. And so just like I did before, you know, I'm going to have this guy, this end of the LED going to the negative terminal. I'm going to connect my photoresistor somewhere right there. And there's just two terminals. It doesn't matter which direction we have. I know this was one and two. Uh, it doesn't matter like what, what plugs in where. They're reversible. So I'm going to go for my positive through the photoresistor and then from the photoresistor all the way over to the anode side of the LED. So now let's focus on this guy right here and let's start the simulation. And the way that these, you know, this is like a kind of sensor, the way it works, if you know, how do I simulate how bright it is? Well, you click on it and then uh, you can drag the slider over and that, that's how in Tinkercad circuits, how it works. And you'll notice that with the other sensors in future videos to come. So you notice here that when it is very dark, uh, there's no light going on with this, um, yeah, going through the LED. And when this photoresistor senses a lot of light, the LED is bright. So I want you to think, what is going on with the resistance of this photoresistor? Okay, is the resistance going up or down when it's brighter? Well, Remember, if we go over here, uh, this LED is on. If I turn up the resistance, the LED gets start dimmer. So that means as the photoresistor senses less light, that means the resistance increases. And as it senses more light, the resistance decreases, allowing more flow of electricity to go through the LED, making it brighter. Okay, so in you know today's video, I, I just showed a couple different new components. We had that potentiometer, which is just a variable resistor. It allows you to vary the resistance. And we have the photoresistor, which uh, you can vary the resistance based on how bright something is or how bright the, bright the, uh, the room is. And um, I also want to show you that there's a lot more things you could do here. So under components right here, if we go to basic for starters. So Tinkercad circuits is really cool that there's a bunch of different things here and I encourage you just to play around with the different um, stars that they have. And we see that we have like a LED dimmer and this is kind of what we went through today. Uh, the same thing, you know, if I start my simulation, you know, if I move this over, you see that the LED turns on. And we see that they have a, a basic LED right here just so we don't burn out the light um, and if I go down here we have a couple different options so play around with it this is a cool one right here we have a PIR sensor which is just a fancy term let's not put it there let's put it in this open space we have a PIR sensor which is just a you know fancy word for a motion sensor 
and if we start our simulation we can make motion just by clicking on the sensor and moving this guy around and we see that well once we make some motion the light turns on so play around with the different circuits there try to figure out how they work and i encourage you to make your own okay thanks for watching this video see you later